Hello, my name is Robert Pound and I am a product technologist at Quest. This video covers getting started with connections in Toad for SQL Server. When starting Toad for SQL Server for the first time, you're presented with a connection dialog box. Uh, I will not use this for the demo as it is the same as the connection manager in the upper left. So I will uncheck this option. Uh, this way it does not pop up every time Toad for SQL Server starts and click cancel. For those folks that want to see that dialog box upon startup, if they like that workflow um, and it's been unchecked or you inadvertently unchecked it, you can come to options. And under environment general, you can click the show on startup dialog box. Click apply and OK. And now you'll see it every time you open up Toad. So to create a connection in Toad, you have several options. Uh, in the ribbon bar, there is a button that has a create new connection and then also connect to an established connection that's saved. You can create a connection in the toolbar of the connection manager itself. Or you can right click anywhere in the connection manager and choose create as well. Before I start a connection, uh, let's talk about the toolbar itself. So obviously we've already covered the create new connection. Uh, this we'll get to in a second. This is create like. This allows you to basically clone a connection that you already have and modify it. You have your connect and your disconnect buttons. Display properties allows you to uh, display the properties of the connection that you already have saved. And then import and export connections um, will be covered in another video, but I just wanted to point these out because um, obviously if you already have connections in uh, the management studio established or if you have a central management server, you can import those here and you can export any connections that you make in the environment. So let's go ahead and establish a new connection. I'm going to use the toolbar option and we're presented with another dialog box. Um, as you can see, it's since the SQL server that I have running on this uh, uh, server, but I'm gonna go ahead and modify this to connect out to another server in the environment. Uh, we obviously have the option between SQL uh, server authentication and Windows authentication. Um, and we also have the option to connect on startup. What this allows is if I have this checked for any connection. Uh, when Toad is opened up, this connection will be established uh, immediately. <clears throat> and you also have the option of either choosing connect, which saves and then tries to connect immediately, or you can simply choose save, which is what I'm going to do. And now we have a connection in the connection manager. Next, I'm gonna create a similar connection. So I'm gonna use the create like. So since I already have this connection selected, I can choose create like. And this will open up another dialog box with the information from the previous connection. Uh, I'm going to choose a SQL authentication for this uh, and enter my password. <coughs> and let's modify the default database uh, to something different. And you can also, uh, down here under name, you can actually change the name of the connection. So if you wanted something more meaningful for you, you could say Robert's connection. And that will show up in the connection manager. Um, if you start typing and you want to back out of it, you can simply click this arrow and it will revert back to the default uh, naming scheme. And under SQL authentication, you have the option as well of saving your password, which is what I'm going to do here. That may or may not be the right option for you. And again, I'm going to choose save. And finally, I'm going to create a third connection, this time using the create icon again, or I could come up here and choose create new. I'm going to use the SQL server that it found automatically on this server. And this time I'm going to choose connect instead of save. And it is save the connection. It is also connected. There's a green icon next to the connection, and you can also see that now we have uh, the object explorer populated with the, all the objects associated with this connection. So to connect to the rest of these connections, I could simply highlight them and uh, click the connect button, or I can double click on a saved connection to establish the connection. And one thing you notice is now that I'm clicking through these different connections, the objects in the Object Explorer are not changing. That's because the current view is set to the connection at the top. You can see that it's highlighted in bold. Uh, you can affect that change by either using the drop-down menu and selecting a new current view, or you can simply double-click on a connection that's already established, and it will also change the focus.
And finally, for the right-click menu, if I select a connection and right-click, uh, you have many of the options that you have uh, in the toolbar. Uh, a few notable exceptions uh, that, are, that are important for me is disconnect all. This allows you to immediately disconnect all connections that you have established. Um, and also, if you right-click, you can choose remove. So if there's a connection that no longer is valid or you don't want it cluttering up your environment, you can choose remove and it will prompt you to ask, are you sure? And then you can remove it from your connection manager. All right, I hope this was uh, helpful. And speaking of help, um, if you get stuck, you can go to the help menu. There's a lot of information here. Uh, a lot of what we covered uh, in this video was actually covered in the help files as well, as well as some troubleshooting. Um, there's a lot of good information, um, tutorials, etc., in the help file, so uh, go check that out first. You can also visit www.quest.com forward slash toad for SQL Server. Uh, for information on this product, as well as www.toadworld.com. Once again, hope this was helpful. Thank you very much. Have a good day.